gentlemen, it's showtime! Uh, now what do I do? Uh, I'm screwed, that's all I got. Welcome to edition one of the Mikey Show. Tonight on the program, Tracy Bingham, John Fiore, Dave Russo, Vance Gilbert, don't forget the Bella Life models and the girl with a clipboard. And we got the experts. We're talking about Dave, Larry, Joe, and Steve. guests we're going to bring out right now to sit on our fabulous magical red couch the good news is they're here and they're fully clothed the bad news is one of them's fully clothed and i'm going to tell you who that is in a second uh, many of you uh, are familiar with john fiore uh, i certainly am this in guy might be the most famous for his portrayal of a man named Gigi uh in the fabulous hbo series the sopranos unfortunately for him he got killed off in season three uh, on a toilet uh, but for the most part, he's had much more viable parts in his life, like uh, in Mystic Pizza, where he played the part of Jake. Uh, Meet the Parents, where he had a scene with De Niro that got cut out of the movie. I don't know what happened there. Uh, and uh, TV series like NYPD Blue, Law & Order, The Guiding Light, The Brotherhood, and Person of Interest. It's John Fiore, everybody! This guy! He's a real ham and egg in his guy. Sit down, sit down, you guy. Freak. Come here. He's a freak. Oh, I just got in from the coast. Yeah, how's yeah, it going? Fair beach. Yeah, what, really? Yeah, what were you doing there? Nice. I was just having a clam dish. <laughs> you're a big clam yeah, guy. Yeah, Kelly. I've heard nice you're a giant clam, clam guy from way back. I love a nice fried clam. You? Uh, perfect for me. Bring it on. You know, John is uh, uh, since he's been around the world of acting, up and down the streets a few times. He's very, very familiar with our next guest. In fact, he's had the pleasure of actually working with her. I have. We all remember her from Baywatch, uh, from Beverly Hills 90210, her reality show appearances all over the place. And let's not forget the quintessential Tracy Bingham appearance in Playboy, Tracy Bingham! Ow! I knew it since she was a kid. A kid? She was a kid. Hey, you sing closer. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to stay here. Hey, what about me? I got nothing. All right, we're going to have to take oh, a break. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tracy, great to see you. Good to see so you. So how do you guys know each other again? Sitting on the battery. Oops. Um, Tell them, Tracy. That's, well, <laughs> that happens. <laughs> we have worked together on so many projects before. We were we, young pups back yes, in the day. Yes, before we made it big, right? Real big. <laughs> and we used to do a lot of background extra work. Shh. But, you know, but, but you, know, you know, if you keep at it, you can get eventually what you want. And... I have a good story to tell you about that, but I'll tell about you about Fiori. Yeah, you tell us now. Tell okay. Now. There's no time like the present. Well, you know what? We we <laughs> were doing this. You can tell. We were doing this movie, and it was really, really cold. I think it was in Connecticut. It was some movie because we did a lot of work together. You, you need to do so much. You don't remember the names of them. So we're in there in this car. Our holding area was in a car. So everyone fell asleep in the car. There was probably like I don't know eight, ten people in that car. Eight people. And he farted. <laughs> He just farted. What's the big deal? Does and it woke everybody up. Does my win song stay in your it, mind? It kept us <laughs> Tell warm. Tell the truth. Yeah. I mean, it's just crazy. But there's a lot of s more stories like that. There's many this stories. Amazing. So wait, so you many. farted in the car. I yes. farted Even though the there were, there were yes. lovely yes. ladies in the car. Yeah. Well, we had to. I, we were we had to. There was no heat. There was the only source of heat. It oh, actually I see. provided about two degrees of warmth. But mm -hmm. the thing is, he didn't know he did it. He woke everyone up, and mm. he's like, whoa, whoa, And then I passed whoa. out once they woke up. I went, uh-oh. See, that's, yeah. that's when you know you're getting old. Was that me? <laughs> was that me? Uh, now, just so people know out there, uh, in your career, you've been uh, in Law and Order. You were Detective Tony <laughs> Profaci. That is correct. Yes. What was the story? A and young I Italian guy from New York. Okay. Coming up the hard way. Yeah. What's yes. wrong with that? Nothing. I mean, now, when you got to Third Watch, the TV series, uh, you were Boscarelli. Tell me about that yeah, character. Yeah, that was a young Italian guy in New York growing up the hard way. Uh huh. <laughs> That's so different. It was a little li different. Just a little nuance. One's from Staten Island. Yeah. One's from the Bronx. <laughs> now, what about when you were in Tony and Tina's <laughs> wedding? You played Mr. Nunzio. What, what was up with that character? A squat guy, but a guy who grew up in New York <laughs> on the main street. Coming up the hard way. What's wrong with that? Coming Nothing's up wrong the hard with way. that. Uh, but you were able to move on, diversify a little I bit, did expand move on. your talent. Yeah. Uh, when you were in uh, Larry the Cable <laughs> Guy, you played Chef Carmine. What was his character about? Chef Carmine was about this young guy that grew up on the mean streets of New York who loved to cook. 
And that's what he did. He was a cook. So you must have been relieved when they cast you as Salerno in The Guiding Light. Yes. That was a guy off the boat of Sicily who came to New York to take (laughs) over. (laughs) And that's what he did. It's always about New York, though. It's always about New York. Do you ever get pissed that people is... Say, you know, uh, you can only play Italian guys because of the way you look? You know something? I don't really care what they say because I'd rather be an Italian guy than anything else. Is that okay to say? (laughs) I'd rather be an Italian American. Now, Tracy, a little typecasting for you as well. Uh, You've Uh, been mostly playing women your whole life. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah, last time I checked. Holy moly, me oh my. Yeah. (laughs) And your career, of course, after the tragic accident whereby you got hit in the back with two torpedoes. (laughs) <laughs> you, uh, you seem to have come out of that pretty well. You know, yes, physic- I think I came out just fine. Physically and mentally. <laughs> you know, can I say one thing about Tracy? Absolutely. <laughs> that one time there was a f- tragic ferry boat accident and two fellas were drowning in the water. But Tracy <laughs> saved their lives by them two fellas clinging to her pontoons. But I'm Tell them that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't no happen. actually on it, Baywatch there was a lot of those type of rescues. It's yeah. always like right. rescue can, you know, buoys, balloons, yeah. like that whole thing. I'll tell you, if you rescued me, that would make my hassle hard. <laughs> I'm serious about that, too. Bring it into Stellar. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, it's drone time on the oh, Mikey yeah. Show. Come in over here. Oh, here. Oh. Jeez, is this supposed I'm... to land on my lap? <laughs> it's request hour. <laughs> this one's for, uh, for Tracy. Yes, darling. It's from the audience. You have mm. the right to say no. Okay. Uh oh. This person is questioning whether you can do ten jumping jacks. Really? Yeah. Really? Who said it? Who's yeah. the dirty scoundrel? Are you put kidding me? Yeah. Question? I can do ten push-ups and ten jumping jacks. Could they just want the jumping jacks? Can you do ten for us? I can. All right, let's see it. Just not today. Oh, oh. not today! That's right, baby. Can we make a video of this? I might bring Here, Aaron, put that drone in the drone garage, will you? So you're not going to do it today? <laughs> not today. You but sure? I will. They have to come back to she see. She has me to doing have it. a sports bra for that. Yeah. Something. You know, if you started doing jumping jacks, I think I would need a sports bra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, now, Not we have jokes. all these models walking around here. Uh, They're gorgeous. And you, of course, have been a model for a long time. You were in Playboy. Yes, I did what, Playboy. What is that like? I, have I a did bunch a lot of, of chicken choking to that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, it was, honestly, I was just talking to my BFF, Amber, who's here in the audience today. We... Um, it's a classy magazine. I mean, it's not like Penthouse or Hustler, but right. I'm honored to say one of the, one of the f- very few women of, women of color who've done Playboy. And it was amazing, and my parents approved, so why not? What a spread that was. It <laughs> no, no, I mean that. I, I'm sincere when I say that. Uh, Thank I, you. I, I, completely, because you're a lovely, lovely woman. Okay, here comes another yeah. one. <gasps> There'll be a time when, when all your... Reel it in. You, you'll be sending your orders in with a waitress. That is so cool. It's really cool. I love it. Oh, my God. Mikey, zip your fly. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> Somebody wants John Fiore to do his most famous soprano scene uh, in the oh. toilet as a selfie ah, with them. Ah, well, you know something? That's, that's something that's best left behind. There's plenty of photographs of that that exist. Ooh. Something I don't yeah, But really this person <laughs> wants a selfie with you and they them. They want it now yes. in the can? In the yes. can. No problem. Woo. 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, I do those all yes. day for 20 bucks. Is that what money. you're getting for those Nothing's now? 20 bucks? Nothing's free anymore. 20 bucks. Nothing's for free. Come on, i got to make a living still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, a few years back on my radio show, I, I was in the North End one day and I met this guy named Dave Russo, and I thought, my God, he's short. But <laughs> the fact of the matter is he's also very, very funny. He's been playing all over the Boston, New England area. He's been in Vegas. Uh, he's been on my radio show numerous times. Let's bring him out here right now. Mikey said that, uh, that Bingham had big torpedoes, and I just—I just actually read that it was a guy who invented the bra. Now, I didn't think there was any possible way a guy could have invented the bra. I figured if we did, we would have graded it differently, you know? Because, like, a D would have been an A. Double D. Yeah, and a double D would have been an A. <laughs> right. Oh, I would so love to disappoint you. <laughs> the, the one, the only, Dave Russo. Hey! hey. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, John Fiore. How are you, my man? Up, hey. baby. 
Hey, Planet Mikey, how you doing, my friend? Sit down. Yes, have I'm going to sit down. Have a beer. Yeah, have a Sam Adams. Adams. Do I'm something. Sam Adams. <laughs> have a cream soda. Have a tuna <laughs> salad I, I sandwich. Can't drink, <laughs> I can't drink. <laughs> I can't drink. I'm watching my figure right now. You look good, I man. I can see that. What, did you lose weight or what? Well, yeah, well, this shirt's extra large. It's a baby gap. Uh, the shirt right. No, I, I actually I lost a lot of weight. I actually lost a lot of weight because I got sleep apnea. You mean I, the sleep apnea? The sleep yeah, the sleep. The, 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 I the, stop the breathing. It's why I stop. I breathe and then I and I forget to breathe, so I die. Now, now you've been Italian. My Irish friends, if I die because I forget to breathe, they're gonna be like, now that's Ooh. Italian. <laughs> that is Italian. It's brutal. Well, I mean, why am I hearing so much about it all the time now? I never heard of that a long time ago. Sleep apnea. Like you, know, you know it's what it is? Thing, We're bigger and stronger, and your throat's. You, you, you're like, <clears throat> you can't breathe out of your throat? Yeah. That's my excuse that I'm big and strong. Because other than that, they're going to say I'm fat and overweight. And I don't want that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, what happened to good old wet dreams? <laughs> I mean, were we moving well, on from that well, already? You know what it is? I, I can't complete one because I keep waking up in the middle of the night. <laughs> you're jolted. You're jolted <laughs> awake, Mike. Yo, he wakes up. He's like, oh, I was almost there. Right? I, I tell you what, the, the, you wear the mask, the blood flow, it helps in that you man shoot area. You down Migs with that mask. <laughs> 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 That's so a Star Wars man. Yeah, because right? till I was about 12, I thought the only thing bad about sleeping was pitching a tent when no one was looking. <laughs> oh! what's, I mean, so this, this is a real thing, though. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a real thing. I stopped reading 67 times is an hour. Is that what Mike Napoli had? He's Italian, too. Uh, you know, it must run the Italians and yeah, uh, the people with big Italian noses. Italian big nose. Southern Italy like this. The guy like this, you're saying. They have a lot of Maybe guys. it's uh, something you ate, you know, no? <laughs> I have no idea what the hell. All I know is that it made for a funny bit. You don't smoke? Nope, I don't smoke they anymore. They tell you to lose weight, right? Yeah, you had to lose crap. weight, you had to yeah. do this, you had to do But the fact of the matter is, when you stop breathing, you wake up, you wake up, so you wear this little mask, it's like it's like plugging yourself in like a Nintendo game. Yeah. And then you wake up, and you're like Michael Jackson, you're, you're back walking, moonwalking all Man. over the place. So. How's that the, sounds uh, awful. Down the uh, help? Everything's help. Yeah, absolutely. Help the absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He's a Hello. funny, funny guy. You've been all over the place. Uh, now, how, how about Vegas? Well, the funny, I was just in Vegas. It's weird. They have conferences in Vegas, mm. right? They had a... They had a uh, they had a Taekwondo, so it was a bunch of Asian folks just kicking stuff. And I, I love the Asian, well, I love the Asian women. Yeah, I mean, of course. You know, they're my height, for Christ's sake, right? <laughs> all of but them. But they had a high school all-star girls cheerleading team in my hotel yeah. in Vegas. I found this out. I'm in my room, I'm smoking a little bit, yeah. drinking a little bit. Yeah. And the girl's knocking on my door, knocking. On, finally, I, I let her out. <laughs> I was like, hey, <laughs> hey, where you going? She's like, I have algebra homework. And I was like, oh, it's February vacation. Don't you think the best <laughs> job in the world is, you know, you know, you've seen those cheerleading squads, the girl, they throw the girls up in the and then the, the guy, the strongest oh, guy, absolutely. he catches him. Well, Wouldn't look, you want to be that guy? Well, look, look, look I played sports. He catches him by the ass. Right, well, I, I played sports. It's fun. I played sports. We used to make fun of my buddy. He was a cheerleader for Boston College High School. I mean, Boston College College. Yeah. Uh, BC, basically. BC, right. Yeah. And uh, we're it's all like, what a, what a queer. What's he doing on cheerleading team? It's 40 below zero. I watch BC. They're in Miami. He's flipping a hot chick around. Like, right. hey, what's going on? Hey. Yeah, who's the queer? Right. I think we are. That's right. Watch so, this. Uh, I can get this girl's <laughs> ass to land right on my hand. I'm going to accidentally fall. I need the publicity. I know. Uh, That's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, Dave, Dave Russo, uh, you'll see him all over. He's going to stick around with us. Sure. We, we're going to have you here as often as possible. In fact, you got to. Hey, everybody. You're great. You haven't changed since the 60s. I know, right? I'm going to sing a song for y'all. You can live on pie and whiskey, but you surely won't live too long. One is as sweet as your very first kiss. The other gonna go down strong. Neither one will sustain you. When the other make your belly lame and go all wrong. You can live on pie and whiskey. You surely won't live too long. Mm, yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Wow. We're back. We had a really good time tonight. I gotta just uh, just say hello and thank you to my good friend Vance Gilbert. Vance hey, it's good to be here. Excuse me. Why do you, why did you guys give me this big ass mic? He got a little teeny mic. He got a little teeny mic. You got me the big, big round Negro mic to hold. <laughs> I could have a nice little clipper on thing, but oh no, got to perpetuate the stereotype. Uh -oh. Sorry, fellas. This is what we got here. This first come, hey, first hey, serve, Vance. My wallet's missing. I didn't say anything about you. Well, 
Oh, oh see how you are. I feel like I don't. I don't know whether to like try to bite. If you want to stereotype shit, I mean, listen. I haven't stabbed anyone. I don't like when microphones are on me either. I don't want to be mic. I don't want anyone to be mic around. <laughs> Well, you know, it's, as long as they work, you know, let's, let's not forget that in the old days, Rudy Valley used a megaphone. Not a microphone, Rudy? a megaphone. Rudy, Rudy Valley, yeah, was, he, was he black? No. Well, then I don't care. No. <laughs> if he wasn't black, I don't care about him. Are you here to give us the, the black perspective? Yeah. <laughs> if you, had, you had one model on here with big boobies and then me. That's what you've had. You should have more black people on this. How many? How many episodes is this? It's only the maiden voyage. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And we've there, hit an iceberg. Wait, All right, two for four. Yeah. Well, two black, two white. Come on. We're gonna never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she was equilibrium right there. <laughs> but she wasn't fully black. She was. The brown people could get black <laughs> as the show's <laughs> She was brownish. <laughs> yeah. She was tannish. I'm kind of a what? You think he looks white? People are lightening up these days. Yes, what can yeah. I say? So it ain't my fault. So your last name is what? Uh, Russo. And you're Fiore. So I'm not it's reverse discrimination. Oh, What's here going we on go. here, babe? I think Come we on. should have a dance off. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have a dance off. Let's unbattle. Come on, I'll yeah. start it up. I'll start it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, you do break man. dancing. Come on, do it. Come on, white people can't do, dance. Do, I just, I just oh, broke a stereotype. Oh, do man. some break I just, dancing. I was about to bust up in a classical jam up in here. I'm busting all the stereotypes out here, man. I'll tell you what. You do that. You do that again, and I'll play. Uh, I'll play some Italian music for her. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't get break dance with Italian music. Here, give, give, me a little, give me a little. Italian music. Give me a little. <laughs> <laughs> He's Rico Suave. <laughs> He's Puerto Rican. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Act it out, Dave. Act out the song. Act it out. There she is across the river. Wave to her. <laughs> She's coming toward you. Her bosom heaving, heaving. <laughs> is she throwing up? Is that the heaving you're talking about? It's, it's a dry heave. It's a dry heave. Woo. Now, Vance, you go all over the country. I get your all your emails saying I'm going to be in this place in Philadelphia. I'm going to be in this place in California. You're like a traveling man. Running from white people. <laughs> the white I'm devil. The white running. interloper. What? I play folk music and white people don't appreciate it. I, I do. Just, I know you do, but you love me. You have to. We're, we have an announcement. We're simpatico. We're brothers from another mother. That's we, it. That we have saying? an announcement. We yeah, have yeah, what is the announcement? Well, Who's expecting? <laughs> <laughs> so where are you playing, Vance? Where, where, where are you, um, you going to be in the next couple weeks? Yeah, I will be in Cambridge at Club Passim on uh, Sunday, May 3rd at some time or another. So you can come out and see that. Club Passim? Club Passim, right, on, right in, in uh, Harvard Square. Do they have a Cambridge. senior citizen's discount? <laughs> or is that Club, Club Passim gas? That's, that's it. They, they're, He's they're the door guy. He's the accessible. door guy. So I'm holding on to the rail and just getting into that sucker. So <laughs> the, the knees are gone. You know how that works. Yeah. But you've been doing this a long time. So running from the cops. You know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's the white cops. Let me get me rephrase that. <laughs> you know, like Richard Pryor said, though, no, no, it's the black cops that are beating you harder. No shit. Because they don't want to lose their job. Right. No <laughs> so. Oh, I ain't black enough? Spy! Hey, I got to ask you guys. I think you're all pretty much normal guys like me. Uh, because I've been told that we have the ability to bring quantity loveliness Ooh. onto the stage in the form of the Bella Life models out of Boston who are here doing a Bella shoot. Life. They're doing a Versace or something shoot. I don't know. But they're everywhere. Where, where are they? Can we get them up here? Whoa. Oh, my oh, God. Go. Oh. oh, my God. Tom I'm dreaming. Ten, Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well, sir. And what, what's your name? Oh, my name is Ayla. Ayla? Whoa, Ayla, uh, thanks hey, for coming love. by. And who, who are your two girlfriends here? <laughs> Ivana. Three, oh wait, oh my god. Uh, you completely engulfed the tiny one. Yeah. For a foursome. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, go, let's go golfing. I, what do I do next? I don't even know what to say. Two lips times four. Say menage a four. Menage a quad. Uh, <laughs> you lovely ladies are models. I've seen your pictures in magazines. Uh, you're very, very statuesque. Oh, well, thank you. You are too, Mikey. <laughs> well, 5'9". Uh, in heels. How tall are you? I am a lovely six feet tall. Six feet, baby! Now, you have a, a little, <laughs> tiny little woman next to you. What's her name? This beautiful woman over here. Uh, I'm Anne. And you're about five, five so something. I'm five feet. You're five feet? Five feet, Woo! right above the level. Sorry, I'm a little person. What's your name? 
Carly, and so you're in between the two. You're not as tall as she is. Five seven. Five seven. Isn't that kind of like standard model? Uh, and what about you? Five nine. Oh. See, so we got the long, the short, the big, the tall, the beautiful. That's, That's a, the Mikey show. What, yeah, yeah. It's the bold and the beautiful. When I have my first uh, uh, magazine spread, uh, can you girls be in it with me? Uh, I need a little jazzing up. How much are you gonna pay you? Oh, it's all about the money. See how it is? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. How much can you afford? I can get it done. I He's get the uh, friggin' Harvey Weinstein. Wait, this yeah. guy grew up in Connecticut. Yeah. Eight percent sales tax alone. Yes. Plus my plus my wife already thinks we're getting a home equity loan for new windows. So Where are the window boys? <laughs> she said, "What about these windows?" Ah, you know, we had problems. Say, leave me alone about the windows. <laughs> He's singing. He's singing. There's only one black girl on stage. Come on. I'm surprised. You're a successful young black man. How come you don't have a white girlfriend? What the hell's going on? Melon Life Bottles. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for them. The revolution will not be televised. Oh, yes, it will. We'll take a break and we'll come back on the, uh, the what's this called? Oh, yeah, the Mikey Show. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't leave. Don't leave. Our next guest, Justin Hoff, won the uh, funniest newcomer on the East Coast at Mohegan Sun Casino. He's a nut, he's a freak, he's a funny man, and we're going to bring him out here right now, Justin Hoff. Justin! Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> what do you say? What's up, brother? How are you? How you doing, man? Good How's it going? You. So you, uh, this, uh, this gig, uh, I just want you to know, uh, doesn't pay a heck of a lot, but, you know, you could probably get yourself a new suit with what you make on this program. Right? I know. Actually, that's nice one and that shimmers. Snazzy. Yeah, no, this one fits. That's yeah, sheer that's that's what they good. called it. It's yeah. nice. I got this old blue Stein. thing I wore to my own confirmation. <laughs> I haven't, my body sh shape hasn't changed at all. So yeah. what's going on with you? How's life? How's your uh, how's your love life? Uh, it's all right. I just uh, my girlfriend and I just broke up. Oh. Uh, yeah, we were going together for like four years, and uh, it's weird. It's funny. She didn't tell me anything was wrong while we were dating, uh -huh. but then uh, once we broke up, she told everybody else. <laughs> what was all wrong? All the stuff was wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah I don't know. She used to say like I didn't listen to her or like I didn't pay attention. I remember the big blowout fight. She was like, um, Justin, you didn't pay any attention to my culture because she was Japanese. Oh. Or oh. Chinese or something. I'm not really sure. <laughs> where she was. That's big among them. The, yeah, they care about they, that. They're yeah, into that. that oh, was a, sure. That was a big deal. So. Now, was she one yeah. of these little tiny uh, Japanese, 90 pound uh, Japanese women? She was small, but you know what? I like thick girls now. That's my thing. Thick? Thick. Like a chunky. Like them thick. Like chunky. I, like them, I like them so thick, like if there was a fire in the building, they know that I couldn't save them. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, like they, toss them over your no, shoulder. No, they know that they have yeah. to carry They're me done. out. Yeah. It's kind of so that would yeah. be your, your out for leaving them in the burning building then. Yeah. You know? I, there you guys were talking about sleep apnea. Yeah, now yeah. all my girls have sleep apnea. Do now. they? Yeah. <laughs> I like them thick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, boy. It's tough, though, when they have that mask and you try to make love to them when they have that mask on. Oh, uh, yeah. Because they oh. sound like Bane from Batman. <laughs> I was, like, I was like, baby, you want me to light some candles? She was like, let's not stand on ceremony here. <laughs> I was like, oh, it freaked me out. I shut the light off. She yeah. goes, oh, you think darkness is your ally? <laughs> you got to right, cut like the it, hose. Yeah. 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 Uh, now, you know, I mean, sleep apnea being what it is, and I'm just really finding out about it. I think I had a girlfriend at one time who had sleep crapnia. Yeah, that's that a thing, too. That was real messy. <laughs> that's a real, yeah, that's oh, a condition. Oh, talk about stay on your own side of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I'm done talking to you if you're going to keep that up. Yeah, it's tough, though. They're changing their minds all the time. Ooh. I can't, you know? Yeah. The first night, I'm trying to date now since I'm single, and they're like, Justin, I like you so much. Like, when can I see you again, you know? And then the next night, they're like, how'd you get in my apartment? <laughs> you know, right, right. Like, What's the number for 911? Yeah. Well, Lock the window if you don't want me coming yeah, in. I mean, you know <laughs> when you think, don't you hate to pay? With a girl, you go on a date, you gotta pay, you gotta yeah. pay. You make them pay, you make them pay. Yeah. I do. I always go Dutch. Okay. Yeah. I make them pay half at least. You know, I've tried yeah. that, but no woman has ever agreed to pay, pay for having sex with you me. Know what? <laughs> <laughs> as hard as I try. When the bill comes, you sit there like this, and sit yeah. in the middle, you just sit like this. I like the girls that at least <laughs> Don't pretend. Don't even make a move. I I mean, they, that look they at least pretend though, water. and they go, oh, oh. Yeah, that's like they're real acting. slow, and yeah. I'm like, uh, what, yeah. there's no wallet in there. I like this. They go, you go, uh, La Quinta, por favor. <laughs> yeah, okay, hey, take care of that. Yeah. Okay, now what are you doing next? Yeah, I mean, look, you got to draw the line somewhere. Right. Look, absolutely. you're the one doing all the work, right? Mm -hmm. I have only one Native American joke. Maybe you could try this when you get down to Mohegan. All right, Sun. yeah, let you me want, know. You want to hear it? Yeah, yeah. 
So this young Indian boy is talking to his grandfather, the chief, and he says, how did I get my name, grandfather? And the chief says, Indian have culture of naming child after first thing mother sees when baby's born. That's why my name is White Cloud. My mother saw a white cloud across the meadow when I was born. That's why your father is called Running Bear, because the bear was running across the meadow. Do you understand now how you got your name, Two Dogs Fucking? <laughs> 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 I made that up. It's pretty uh, good. <laughs> it's great to see you. Best of luck to you. Justin Hoff, everybody. Thanks so much. On for the Mikey me. Show. It. We'll be back. <laughs> We're happy now to bring up one of these guys that's a, a charter member of the FFFFF, the funny f future funny fuckers of America. <laughs> and uh, his name is Josh Dolan. Josh, come on up here, baby. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. what's up, brother? How you doing? How you doing? What's up, man? What's going How you on, doing? Buddy? Nice to see you. Mikey. What's up, man? Not much. What's going on with you? What's the world of funny doing to you? What's the world of funny? Yeah. That's... Because there's a whole separate world for funny people. You know, there's, there's people who are serious, people who just go through their day-to-day -day life. But, you know, people like you, you're one of the FFFs. Yeah, we, uh, you know, class clowns, and uh, we uh, try to make money at it, and it uh, doesn't work out. Well, yeah, money's secondary to the artistic rendition of, uh, you know. If you want to call it art, then you Oh, it's art. Oh, it, yes, it's definitely it art. Yeah. yeah. Especially when there's no money involved. <laughs> yeah. If there was money involved, they could say that's just commerciality. Yeah. But once yeah, you yeah. get out of that money realm, it's got to be art, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's My teachers told me I would amount to nothing, and I, they, they, they were kind of right. They were right. <laughs> but see, that's why they're teachers. Yeah. Now, listen, we were talking earlier, like, <clears throat> when we were kids, our fathers, you know, you'd say one wise comment, they'd go to you, what are you, a comedian? <laughs> Your father <laughs> say that to you? What are you, a comedian? We heard it all the time. You ever hear that? I hear it all the time, yeah. People come up to me, oh, so you're a comedian? Let's hear a joke. Yeah, and it's yeah like, be I, funny. Yeah, my girlfriend is a teacher. I don't go up to her and be like, hey, what are you a teach teacher? me. Yeah, right. what are you a teacher? Teach me something. So what do you see the world funny? We see it as a big pile of steaming shit. You see it funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was, I, my well, I don't always say, feel like being funny all the time. Yeah, you know, you, people might laugh at exactly. me, but it's, yeah. My yeah. neighbor, the old lady, used to say, oh, God, what a life. That's all she ever said. You know, yeah. See you what later. Life. Well, I get that after sex. What are you, a comedian? <laughs> I get it all the time. It's really I get that too. That's why I started. It's really a drag. <laughs> Might as well ma get money at it. Yeah. So, yeah. so I always say, look, you keep that up, you're going to get the other inch. <laughs> <laughs> sad, sad <laughs> world. We're limited. And by the way, I say, I only got a 20. Leave me five on the bed, on the dead the, the <laughs> end table there, baby. On the dresser drawer. Yeah. And by the way, can you do an Uber car this time, please? Yeah, get Cost out. me an arm and a leg last time. It worked for tips. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, now, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go nuts on us once your once your career takes off like a madman? You're gonna be like all nas national network touring the country type of thing, and then leave Entercom? I will always come back to the Mikey Adams show. Okay. That's, yes. That's good to but hear. Everybody man. else can go fuck themselves. That's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's yeah, what he's well, saying. That's, More or less, that's, with so many yeah. words. I was like trying you, to say it nicely. You said it the now. real, the later. real world way. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for being here, man. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you on the program, and uh, best of luck to you, you FFF, you. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. <laughs> That's future funny fuckers of America, by the way, in case oh. you forget. All right. Now I know. <laughs> Josh Stolen, everybody. Hey, Josh. Oh, this has been a beautiful, beautiful show for the first time out here. Virgin territory, baby. I want to thank Justin Hoffman and Josh Dolan and Vance Gilbert, who's amazing. And, of course, Dave Russo, who's very short and very funny. We want to thank Tracy Bingham and the girls for being here tonight. John Fiore, the girl with the clipboard, the Irish princess. Who else can we thank? Is there anybody I left out? Oh, yeah, the experts. And, you know, by the way, Sam Adams. Yeah, I know. I know, Sam Adams. I'll be thanking them for the rest of the night. I also want to uh, mention something here. Oprah Winfrey thinks she's something, you know, because she gives away cars at the end of her show. That's nothing. That's nothing. She's nothing but a big, fat, rich bitch. Why, what's she got that I don't have aside from $14 billion in half of Hawaii? I'm going to give away cars. I'm going to give away cars. Yeah, you get a car. You get a car.
some kind of wine.